Shalom, your excellencies. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord honor you. I trust you are all having a wonderful day in the beauty of his holiness. May the Lord Almighty bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to specially welcome every one of you to this week midday prayer. And my prayer for you, beloved, is that the Lord Almighty, I pray that he will give you victory round about in the name of Jesus Christ. I do not know what you are confronting right now. I may not even know whom your enemies are. But the Lord Almighty said to me, Daughter, I am sending you with victory over strong enemies for the sake of this world. For the sake of this my daughter. For the sake of her marriage. For the sake of her ministry. I am sending you with victory. So that she or he may have peace round about. I do not know who has actually positioned himself or herself as your enemy. I do not know whom the enemies have assigned and contracted to actually stand on your way of victory, of increase, of prosperity, of advancement. But here I'm a child of God. No matter how strong these enemies are, the Lord Almighty will bring them down on this mountain today. And he will give you and your family victory round about in the name of Jesus Christ. Before we go further in this meeting, beloved, I want you to please open your hand and say, Father, I thank you because I know that today is my day of victory. Father, I thank you because I know that none of my strong enemies will still stand after today's encounter. Lord, I thank you because I know that my victory is sure today. I know my victory is sure today. My victory over those strong enemies of my father's house. My victory over those strong enemies of my place of birth. My victory over those strong enemies of my place of work. My victory over those strong enemies in my business place. Lord, I say thank you because I know I am lambanoring testimony of victory. Ah, from this mountain today, I am lambanoring testimony of victory, Rwanda Bar, ministerial victory, career victory, destiny victory, victory in all ramification. Lord, I thank you because my encounter with you today, Lord, shall not be in vain. It shall not be in vain. It shall bring forth my victory over the stubborn problems in my life. It shall bring forth victory over the stubborn enemies of my destiny. And I will show testify. I will surely be victorious uh, to the exaltation of your name. Uh, thank you Lord for this opportunity in your presence. Uh, come and do your thing my father and glorify yourself in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 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 Beloved once again congratulations <laughs> because today Victory is sure for you. Please, I would like you to share the live cast right away with somebody. Even if you are going to be listening to this live cast after now, please share. Share to at least 10 groups you are in on Facebook. Share to your friends and family and be a blessing to somebody today. You might not know whom you are going to send this message to and the person begins to testify. You might not know what they are going through. So share. Be a blessing to somebody. As you are doing so, you are advancing the kingdom of God. You are saving lives. You are saving homes. You are restoring destinies. And you will never miss your reward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, I want to show you some scriptures today. Which the Lord Almighty gave to me. Upon which you are going to stand to pray on today. You know, the psalmist, when he was speaking in Psalms um, 
118 verses 10, he said that nations compassed him round about. I was waiting to know how he was able to overcome these nations. Listen very attentively. I'm going to read from that verse 10 to verse 17. He said, All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I destroy them. Did you hear that? In the name of the Lord, the psalmist destroyed them. I do not know how strong your strong enemies are. I do not know how strong those strong men, those strong women are that are after your life right now. In the case of the psalmist here, he said nations, nations arose against him. They compassed him round about, but in the name of the Lord, he obtained victory. Beloved, God is saying to you and I today, in case you are going through national battles, in case you are going through international battles, battles that are beyond human comprehension, the psalmist is giving you a clue on how to fight it today. He said, if only you can stand in the name of the Lord, victory is sure. Your victory is sure if only you can stand in the name of the Lord. If only you can rise up and speak words standing in the name of the Lord. He said, your victory is certain. He went further to say in verses 11, they compass me about. Yeah, they compass me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Oh, the service is not just talking about the past enemies. He's also talking about the future enemies. The current enemies that are right there waiting for him to come up. Waiting for him to just cross a particular limit. The psalmist said, see, they have compassed themselves again. They have gathered again against me. But because their gathering is not of the Lord. Because their, their counsel is not of the Lord. Because it is anti-God, it is anti-Christ, and it is anti-Holy Spirit. The psalmist is saying here that in the name of the Lord, he will destroy them. In the name of the Lord. And Jesus, before he left the face of the earth, he gave us a name. And this name is above every other name. The Bible said at the mention of this name, every kneel must bow. Be it the news of great men, news of great women, news of demons, news of witches, news of wizards, he said they will bow. I do not know the name that your strong enemy is bearing. It might be that that strong enemy is bearing a witch. It might be he is bearing a strong wizard. It might be he is bearing a necromancer, a sorcerer, an observer of times. Anybody at all it is in your community, in your country, in your continent. Beloved, hear ye the word of the Lord today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, victory must surely be yours. If only you can arise in the name of the Lord and speak a word. Heaven will honor it. This is what God is saying to us today. The Son is said. That whenever he calls on this name of the Lord, he said, the hand of the Lord will stretch forth towards him to help him. Let me read that scripture very fast. In verses 12, he said, I'm reading as Psalms 118, verses 12. They compass me about like bees. My goodness. They compassed him round about like bees to eat him up. To destroy his, his skin. To give him different kind of stings. Different kind of afflictions. Different kind of pains and penuries. The psalmist said. They are quenched as the fire of tongues. For in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. Did you hear that? So no matter how they have come. Whether your enemies has released affliction to your help. 
Whether your enemies has released affliction to your marriage. Just to make sure they afflict you. They cause you to suffer. They cause you to go through pains. They cause you to go through penalties. The psalmist said, when this kind of situation came to me, I rose up in the name of the Lord. And the strong enemies were utterly destroyed. The strong enemies were utterly destroyed. I remember what happened in Second Chronicle chapter twenty. The verse one of that scripture told us how the king of Judah, Jehoshaphat, was encountered, was attacked by four different nations. Beloved, in case you don't know. When they were passing through the lands of these nations to the promised land, the Lord Almighty gave them a warning never to fight with this world. So they did not have any issue with them at all. They did not have anything that would prompt battle. But these nations gathered themselves together against the people of the Lord. Jehoshaphat, when he looked around him, he made analysis of the armies around him. He saw that he cannot be able to fight this battle. He resorted to the name of the Lord. He cried out to the Lord and presented his matter. He brought up his strong reasons and said, Father, of a truth, you gave us a warning never to touch this one. See how they are paying us back for our good gestures towards them. The Lord said something in verses 17 of that scripture. He said to the children of Judah, you do not need to fight in this battle. Only take your place. Just take your place. Judah means praise. Just take your place of praise. Take your place of assignment. Take your place of, of assignment from divinity. Just watch with your own eyes. Just watch. I am going to rise up for you and give you victory. And the Bible said in verses 22 that when they took their place, when they took their place of praise, they began to sing and to praise the name of the Lord. They began to actually exalt the King of Glory, the battle fighter, the victory giver. The Bible said that the Lord Almighty arose and set ambushments against the enemies of the people of Judah and the people of Moab and Marcia. They rose up and began to destroy themselves. When they had finished doing so, they rose up and utterly helped to destroy themselves. And the Bible said in verses 24 that none of them escaped. Beloved, hear me. I do not know whom the strong man is. God is saying to you today, take your place at the altar of prayer. Stand in the gap for your husband. Stand in the gap for your children. Stand in the gap for your household. Though they have gathered, Though they have gathered their tools, their weapons, I care not to know the victories they have recorded in the past uh, in carrying out the same threat upon other men and women. Uh, but hear me, child of God, uh, in your own case, uh, the table will turn against the enemies. Uh, I said the table will turn against your enemies. Uh, the table of warfare will turn against them. Uh, and they will use their heads to destroy themselves. Uh, only you be strong. God is saying to you, only be strong and take your place. Rise up as a mother in Israel over that family. Rise up as a daughter in Israel over your family. Rise up with fasting, with prayers. Pick up your battle seed. Stand in the gap and say, Lord, no more. I know as a person I have fought this battle myself and it's not working. Lord, I cannot keep on fighting this health battle. I cannot keep on fighting this marital battle. I cannot keep on fighting this career battle. Lord, arise and fight for me. <laughs> arise and fight for me. Arise 
and show thyself as the victory giver, as a God that is stronger than any strong man, as a God that is stronger than any strong spirit, as a God that is stronger than any situation. Arise, my father, and show thyself. When you scream to your father and call on his name, Standing on the name of Jesus, as it is written that in the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, that situation will bow, that condition will bow, that challenge will pack his load out of your life. I don't know what you are going through. But the psalmist said here, when they came to me, they compassed me around. The load was so much for me. The battle was so much for me. The pains was so much on me. I rose up in the name of the Lord and I destroyed them all. Beloved, I don't know what is surrounding your life. I don't know what is surrounding your destiny. I don't know what has been repeating itself in your life. And you and I know that this day is as a result of the activities of the strong men of your father's house. And you and I know that these days are as a result of the activities of the strong men residing in the same yard with you. And you and I know that these days are manifesting as a result of the activities of the strong men and women oppressing in your territory. Beloved, you need to rise. You need to rise. It's time to rise up. It is time to rise up and wake him from thy slumber and wake him from thy sleep and wake him at the midnight and wake him at the midday. Pick up a prayer hour every day, every day, every day. Rise up at 6 a.m. Rise up as at 9, at 12, at 3 p.m., at 9, 6 in the evening, at 9 p.m. at night. Wake up at midnight. And roar and decree and say, Enough is enough, enough is enough. No more to the devil. And believe you me, beloved, the devil will pack his load out of your life, he will pack his nonsense out of your destiny. The Bible said, It is only what you allow here on earth that God will allow. What is God trying to say to you and I? The decision is in our hands. What is God trying to say? Our victory is in our hands. If you allow that sickness, it can end up putting somebody's head in the graveyard. If you allow that condition, it can end up putting somebody's head in the grave. But whatsoever you disallow, whatsoever you disallow, heaven will disallow it. Beloved, I don't know who the strong man is. God is with Waiting to hear from you. What do you want God to do to that person? What do you want God to do to that condition? What do you want God to do to that challenge? God is waiting to hear from you because He said in His Word in Number chapter fourteen, verses twenty-eight, that it is only what He hears you say that He will do for you. He said, "He that asketh, he that asketh, she that asketh, receive it. Whomever that knocketh, the door will be opened. Whomever that seeketh for solution, whomever that seeketh for answers, that person will receive it. Are you still waiting for that condition to put you in the grave? When will you arise to counter the evil sacrifices of your enemies against your life? Are you still looking and laughing? Are you still looking and just looking like that? No, no. My people say, in my dialect, they said, I'm going to explain for those of you. When an animal runs anyhow, the hunter shoots anyhow. When a situation comes anyhow, you attack it with force, with violence. That is what God expects from you. 
When you have been praying and praying and praying and praying, and it seems as if the prayer is not enough, beloved, check. It might be that the enemy you are fighting with ah, is standing on his altar with an evil sacrifice. If you must counter them, if you must receive victory, you must rise up with a sacrifice and fight them. You don't just pray alone. Because when they were trying to afflict you, they did not just open their mouth alone and speak. They rose with their sacrifice. As you are about to enter another new month, as you are about to enter another new quarter, some of them are preparing their goats. Some are gathering the blood of humans. Some are gathering different kind of blood just to afflict you. But you as a Christian, you are just looking like a local there. You are not doing anything about your situation. It's not by going to the hospital, beloved. It's not by giving doctors that are caretakers. When you finish giving to doctors that are caretakers, what do you give to the healer? What do you give to the healer? And that is why some of you, you have gone to hospital, the machine have told you, they don't know what is wrong with you. They have been doing guesswork. They will tell you it is time for today. Tomorrow they will tell you it's high blood pressure. Next tomorrow they will tell you, Madam, it's like this one is happening to you. You are busy dropping money for them. Why not take up the strong case to God and handle it at the feet of Christ? In as much as there are battles you cannot fight for yourself, there are enemies you cannot be able to do something about. The only thing you can do in that situation is to engage God. And how do we engage God? You engage God by prayers. You engage God by worship. You engage God by your sacrifice. These are the three major weapons I as a person has encountered in life that has worked for me. And I'm led by the Spirit of God to release it to you today before we pray. If there are situations in your life that have looked so rough and it has refused to move, if there are mountains that have looked so rough and they have refused to move, engage God in prayers and fasting. Jesus said, This cannot go except by prayers and fasting. Why must you fast? Because there are some demons assigned to carry out that responsibility that will never leave you unless you engage in fasting. When we so fast, there are problems, situations that can never expire unless you fast and pray. After you would have fasted and prayed and that situation is not changing, I'm teaching you how to wage your warfare. Before we pray. In case there are more sit this situation refuses to go. All you need to do is to engage God in praises. Engage God in thanksgiving. Engage God in praises. Remind him, call him to remembrance. Make reference to the victories he has given to you before. Make references to the victories as given to men in the scriptural days. As you are as you're magnifying the name of the Lord for what he has done before. Your faith is boosted. And when your faith is boosted, you begin to please God. For without faith, you cannot please God to do anything for you. And when you begin to please God, the Lord will surely come down to inhabit your praise. And any situation in your life that encounters the manifestation of God at that moment must go down. But when you do this and nothing happens, and what you just got was a relief and not a permanent and a complete deliverance, beloved, engage in a battle. There is a battle seed. Your enemies has dropped in their evil altars that is drawing back the hand of God from continuing to give you victory. There was a case that happened in the, 
in the city of Israel. A particular king called the king of Moab came to battle with the children of Israel. The Lord told them, he said, you will neither see rain nor dews, but the valley shall be filled with water. You are going to receive victory from this battlefield. The Bible said, at the time of evening sacrifice, at the hour of the wave offering, the children of Israel took up the meat offering and they waved it unto God in appreciation for the victory that is coming. They went into the battlefield, they began to win. They began to win. They began to win. Mind you, beloved, what they waved unto God was the animal and the blood of animals. They began to win. When the king of Moab saw that the battle became so sore, he tried using his great men and men of battle in the battlefield. He positioned them for the battle. The Bible saying, the battle became more tougher. What did the king of Moab do? He took his son that was supposed to be in the place of leadership after his death and he slaughtered him on the wall of Jerusalem. He slaughtered him before the altar of the people of Israel. And the battle and the prophecies that God released upon his children was terminated. The hand of God was withdrawn. Why am I teaching you this today? Because you need to know how to win your battles. I am going to pray with you today so that your strong enemies will go down. But what you need to understand is that life is a battlefield. Expect enemies to rise up at any time. But whenever you encounter any enemy at all in life, don't forget these three weapons I've drawn for you today. And I support them to walk beloved. I support them to walk child of God. May the Lord Almighty give you victory over any enemy that will come through your way in life and destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Very quickly, beloved, I want to super and say, Father, I've had your word today. Arise for me, O oh Lord, in your anger and in your wrath. Arise for me, Lord, as the God to whom vengeance belongs to. Let the foundations of the earth shake. Let every of my strong enemies, wherever they are, in the sea, in the land, in the forest, in the air, eh, in any realm of existence, wherein the evil orders are, wherein they have caged my life, wherein they have caged my ministry, wherein they have caged my career, Lord, arise for me right now and strong them dead and set me free. Open your mouth and begin to fire prayer. I do not know whom the strong enemies that are after your lives are. Are they humans? Are they spirits? Ah, open your mouth and say, Father, any man or woman, any demon, any spirit ah, that has vowed that I will never enjoy goodness here on earth, wherever the strong enemies are, in the four corners of the earth, wherever the strong enemies are, ah, that are after the life of my husband, that are after the life of my children, my father, let that be earthquake right now, let that be a shaking in the kingdom, let that be a shaking in the altars, let that be a shaking in the planet's earth, and let the strong enemies that has held me bound for years, that has held my destiny bound for my mother's womb, that has held my children bound, that has held my husband bound, Lose their grips of us right now. Let the strong enemies of our destiny, of our marriage, of our career, of our businesses, of our professions, lose their grips of us right now. Open your mouth, beloved, and begin to fire prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever the strong men are, wherever the strong women are, Whatsoever be their titles, whatsoever be their powers, whatsoever be whatever they are used.
use it, oh Lord, against our lives. Arise, my Father, as the God to whom vengeance belongs to. Arise, my Father, as the God that killeth and maketh alive. And bring them down. 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 And give us victory, Lord. Give us victory, Lord. Give us victory, Lord. Victory in the morning. Victory in our health. Victory in our finances. Victory in our career. Victory in our ramification of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Beloved, I do not know the title, the name, ah, the position, ah, the altars, the, the, the covers, wherein these enemies are operating from. I cannot to know what their name is. I cannot to know whether they are national or international enemies. But as your amen will thunder, in the name of Jesus Christ right now, I ask that they be utterly destroyed. I ask that the Lord will arise for you and I and destroy them. Let the Lord Almighty arise for our spouse. Let the Lord Almighty arise for our children. Let the Lord Almighty arise for our ministry and destroy the strong enemies and give us our victory and restore to us our freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Below, before this these enemies put anybody's life in bondage. They might have come, actually carried out some evil works. And the Bible said that for this cause, what Jesus made manifest, that he may destroy the works of the devil. I do not know the kind of works they have used to put your life in that bondage. I cannot to know whether they have positioned monitoring agents, monitoring forces after your life and destiny. But I want you to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every evil works of the enemies that has kept my life in this condition all these years, that has kept my marriage in this condition all these years, that have kept my career in this condition all these years, that has kept my children, my husband condition all these years in this position. Right now, Lord, as I begin to pray, let the works of the wicked be utterly destroyed. Arise, my father. Arise, Jesus Christ. And destroy these works of the enemies. Let the seasons of the oppressions of this wickedness expire in my life right now. Expire in my children's life. Expire in my husband's life. When they have done the evil works, using the sand that is from our feet, using our clothing, using our money, using anything that thought they have taken from us when they have done the evil ah, writing our names in a piece of paper submitting it in the evil altars when they have come an evil image and they have used it on Lord to put our lives in bondage all these years right now my father as I begin to pray let every of those evil works and its effects upon our lives be utterly destroyed be utterly destroyed be utterly destroyed destroyed, be utterly destroyed right now right now let those evil works of familiar spirits, of occultic agents, of witches and wizards, of sorcerers of necromancers over our lives and destiny aspire now aspire now be destroyed now be destroyed now every agent of darkness that have come Contracted ah, to carry out this evil works upon our lives, upon our marriages, upon our ministry, upon our career. Be destroyed together. Be destroyed together by the sword of the Lord of hosts. Let the sword of God locate that agent of darkness, that sorcerer, that witch doctor, that evil priestess. Let them be destroyed now. And let us freedom happen. Let our victory show up. Let our victory show up. Let our victory show up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Beloved, the Bible said this was the express word of Jesus. He said, When you enter the house of a strong man and you want to explore him, you need to first of all tie the strong man. Glory be to God. God has risen for you and I, and He has destroyed the strong man. But you need to recover back what the strong man has taken from you. Ah, not by right. What the have you subtility? What the have you wizardry? What the have you witchcraft to take from you? You are going to pray and say, Father, whatsoever be my blessing, ah, any of my possessions, any of my increase, any of my prosperity that is in the position of any strong man or woman of my life, or for any strong man or woman of my father's house, of my place of marriage, of my city of residence, of the yards that I've lived before, of the yard I'm living right now, anything that belongs to me, that is in their hands, my father, my maker, by your angelic intervention right now, locate that strong man, strong groups, locate that evil altars, locate that shrines, locate that covers, locate that kingdoms, and restore them all back to us now, restore our riches, restore our health, restore our prosperity, restore our glory, restore our honor, restore our blessings, open your mouth and begin to pray, say Father, anything that really belongs to me, that is in the possession of any strong man attached to my life, right now Lord as I pray, I demand restoration, 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 right now, total restoration, all round restoration, restoration of my victory, restoration of my health, restoration of my marriage, restoration of my career, restoration of my job, I don't know what this strong man have deprived you, open your mouth and say, Father, anything that has stolen from me, Marika Bagadosha, Lord, look at them right now, look at that they are taking from me, wherever they have kept it, let it be restored to me, bring them back to me, Lord, bring them back to me, Lord, bring them back to me, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Beloved, we are still praying. I do not know what belongs to you. I do not know what belongs to your husband. I do not know what belongs to your children. I do not know what belongs to your ministry. I do not know what belongs to your business that this strong man has taken from you. But right now, as your amen with thunder, I ask that the Jesus himself that went to the grave and took the key of Hades and destroy the enemies of the kingdom. May this same Jesus go for you. Wherever they have kept that your virtue, wherever they have kept that your goodness, wherever they have kept that your goodness, that your prosperity, that your glory, that your honor. May Jesus locate the altars right now. May Jesus locate that deep waters where they have kept what belongs to you. May Jesus locate that the covenant, the shrines. The badness of the wicked, wherein they have swallowed what belongs to you, and may Jesus Himself retrieve back for you and I every of our stolen vessels, and may He put it into our hands and give us victory forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, we are still praying. You are going to pray and say, Father, uh, I read something in Job chapter 1, verse 10. The Bible said, uh, if I, this was the testimony of Satan himself, uh, Satan testified and said to God, uh, if not because you place an edge, run the bad Job, run the bad everything has on every side, and you have multiplied him greatly in the land, uh, if not because of the hedge, by now I would have messed up the life of Job, I would have made him something 
that will make him to dishonor you. That will make him to, to, to actually cause you to your face. Beloved, you are going to pray and say, Father, Lord, I refuse to go back to the season of this torment from strong men and strong women that have been after my life for years. Right now, Lord, you did it for Job. I call upon you without the rock of Gibraltar, my great protector, my great defender. Lord, place an edge of protection round about me, round about my spouse, round about my children, round about the work of our hands, round about everything we have on every side, and let every access route to evil men and women, let every access route to the strong men that are after our life and destiny be closed forever, be closed forever, be closed forever. Open your mouth right now and begin to pray. Say, Father, right now, I request that your God will cover me and my family with your pillar of fire and your pillar of cloud. Let the hand of the enemy never again be able to assess us. Let the evil arrows of the enemies never again be able to assess us. Let the enchantment and the incantations never be able to walk on us again. That God has shielded Job and everything that he has on every side. And his household, his cattle, his children. Lord, this day I call upon you for a divine shielding upon when most pray international. I call upon you, Lord, for a divine shielding upon every member of this ministry and their families. I call upon you this day, Lord, for divine shielding upon the works of our hands that the devil will not be able again to assess us, to assess our families, to assess our ministry, to assess our career, all the days of our lives here on earth. See, Jesus Christ comes in his glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen, amen. Rekabo shatayade elegedu jekretia maragaba zokori parata beloved I pray for you I pray for your family I pray for the work of your hands this day I ask that that same God that shielded Job and his family on every side and cut off the hands of the devil and his works from assessing them may that same God do so for you and your family. May that same God do so for you and I and show us and show this ministry and every of our members are from being accessible to demonic forces and the evil works in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I do not know uh, where you are hearing the sound of my voice from and I do not know what your expectation is. I do not know what your burden is exactly. But right now, I want to just give you two minutes. Open your mouth and begin to speak to God. And say, Father, hey, this is my burden. This is my challenge. This is my this is my trouble. This has been what I've been going through. Thou the lifter of hell. Thou the victory giver. Thou the great deliverer. Oh, Lord, my Father, settle me in this dimension. Settle me in in this direction. Set on me, O oh Lord, set me free. Liberate my husband. Liberate my parents. Liberate my loved one. Liberate my children. Ah, from this body, from this pain, from this trouble, from this shame, from this reproach. Lord, liberate me. Open your mouth and begin to speak to your father right now. Say, Father, as I come before you this day, I ask that your hand of liberty, your hand of liberty, your hand of liberty will rest upon me. Ah, set me free from this chains of the wicked. Set me free, Lord, from poverty. Set me free, Lord, from lack. Set me free, Lord, from shame. Set me free, Lord, from penuries. Open your mouth, beloved, and speak to your father. Ask your father for that deliverance. Ah, say, Father, let this my prayer request turn into testimony between now and next week, Wednesday. Let this my prayer request turn into testimony between now and next week Wednesday. Lord, give me victory. Father, give me victory. El Shaddai, give me victory. Honor your name, Lord, in my
my matter. Honor your name, Lord, in my situation. Honor yourself, Lord, in my case. And give me victory round about. Do it, Lord, and receive the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I pray for you. As the Lord Almighty has had to say to his hearing today, ah, may he do it for you and even exceed your expectations in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, that situation in your life that has been activated by a strong man, by a strong woman in your father's house, in your place of work, in your place of residence. I pray for you today and I decree the inspiration of that situation and I release unto you victory round about. You are victorious unto the hands of ah, that Egyptian you saw yesterday. You will see them no more in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, it is settled. Go in this day, might, and return back this same time next week with your testimony to share with the brethren. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is settled. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord honor you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, before I go off your way today, I want to make you understand that every Wednesday, uh, midday, we gather here to pray. And every same Wednesday night, 10 p.m. Nigerian time, we also meet on YouTube to pray as a family. We pray as families. We decree what must happen and what must not happen. Are you hearing me? So, this last two days of this month of March, of this first quarter of the year 2022, we shall be engaging in a two nights of victory. Two nights of victory. I don't know what you have been suffering, what you have been going through, but I wouldn't want you to miss that meeting. That meeting will be live on our YouTube channel, When Moms Pray International. Join us tonight and tomorrow night. Ah, tomorrow night we're entering into the next quarter with victory. And as we step into the next quarter with victory, the name of the Lord will be glorified and testimonies, breakthroughs, sources shall be our portion on every side. It shall be a season of victory run about for us in the name of Jesus Christ. The flyer will be will be live after this meeting on our Facebook page. It will, the, the, the program is already scheduled on our YouTube channel for tonight. Invite your friends, invite your relations, gather your family together. Let's pray for victory. This is just part one of it. Let's pray for total freedom, victory from the hands of the household witches, victory from demonic spirits assigned to monitor your life and to stop your progress. Join us tonight and I shall pray for this victory. The God of victory will surely give us victory round about and every one of us shall surely testify and walk in victory unlimited. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am still with your sister, Apostle Amaka Samra Linus. Please, if you have not shared this live cast, begin to share right now. Share to different groups that you belong to. Share on your timeline. Share and share and share. Share on WhatsApp. Share on, on Telegram. Share on your Instagram page. Invite somebody. Be a blessing to somebody. And invite your friends to join us on our page here. Believe you, beloved, they will never regret ever doing so as long as they are following what we are doing here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless you to have a lovely half of the day. Hallelujah. As you go about the remaining activities of yours for today, may the Lord go with you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you. May he give you victory. On every side. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. I love you all. Bye.